Welcome back. This is still TV3 New Day. As you all know, our case count uh, for Ghana now is 330. I'm talking about coronavirus cases. And we have six people who have so far died. Uh, let me give you a breakdown. Great Accra has 274, the highest. Ashanti region, we moved from 18. Now it's 25. Northern region, still 10. One is on the loose. Upper West Region 1, Eastern Region 1, Upper East Region 1, and the Central Region 1. Let's go straight to the Ashanti Region and know exactly what is happening. Uh, Evans, good morning. I trust you're doing well. Well, I am doing very well. As you know, um, if you're staying at home, you need to do a lot of exercise. So just return from the road. I um, just did some jogging with uh, some military guys. So... I think I am doing everything possible to build my immune system as a frontline reporter. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> you don't want to die. I agree. Absolutely. But let's talk about Ashanti region. I mean, the case was 18. Now we have 25. Do you find people worried in the Ashanti region? Yes, they are. I mean, but a good number of them also believe that, um, like the government has been saying, um, the, the fact that we are able to identify these cases, to uh, trace people, to test them, um, there's, a, there's a possibility that the cases will grow. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be a major worry to mm -hmm. us because it means we are, or the health team is doing well on the ground, trying to look out for possible uh, positive cases and then know how, how to manage them mm -hmm. than they not being able to find them and keep on spreading the virus. So mm -hmm. in as much as people are worried that the cases are growing, they are also assured that um, there's or they, they also um, they, are, they are also hopeful, hopeful. that um, so long as we continue to locate these cases, it's, it's a, a sign or, of a good omen that mm. um, the, the, the future looks very, I um, mean, one right, would say hopeful right. because they're able to manage them. Mm. So, I mean, <clears throat> there's kind of mixed feelings. Mixed but feelings, right. Let me tell you that the Ashanti mm. region, we are likely to record more cases in the coming days <laughs> because I reported to you <laughs> mm -hmm. a case at uh, Jachi West mm -hmm. or Jachi Crow Room mm -hmm. where a man was um, yesterday or two days ago taken to the Kumasi South Hospital. Oh. The problem has to do with the number of people who came in contact with because mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. from the Initial say the way they managed the, the, the thing was uh, pretty bad. Uh, before calling the medical team to come in, a lot of people had rushed to uh, ensure that the man is evicted from the town. And all these oh. guys stand at risk of contracting. But I know mm -hmm. uh, the medical health team on the ground. Uh, yeah, just returned from Côte d'Ivoire. Yes, yeah, just returned from Côte d'Ivoire. How did he and get they, into the country? Started. I thought our borders were, were closed. That is uh, that is a multi-dollar question. Yeah. How the man we the would have to find out uh, how he got into the Ashanti uh, region because we told uh, our borders are closed. Anyways, between yesterday and today, here in the Greater Accra region, we've seen a lot of movements. People are in town and vehicles are parked. Do you see the same situation in the Ashanti region? Yes, there's a lot of movement, um, and it baffles me uh, if um, the. Uh, patrol team has relaxed and all of that but i get an indication that you know we are inching closer to weekend so people are coming to town to buy that is one aspect of maybe reason for which we see a lot of movement in mm -hmm. town mm -hmm. but the other reason could also be that because now people have been asked to um, shop within the area mm -hmm. of uh, um, abode so maybe they are just the, the, the reason why we are seeing a lot of movement around because people are not um, allowed to move to other places to shop. So I just want to believe that that is the more reason why we see movement in the various communities. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, but we are still, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yesterday you spoke about the uh, uh, the coronavirus alleviation program, and you spoke also about the fact that the buffer stock team was visiting the Shanti region, you know, to to tell us the state of uh, buffer stock and also to give food to what they call the uh, the needy and the vulnerable. Did that happen yesterday? It did. Towns of full staff were supply to various communities in the Ashanti region, number of 
uh, member of, I mean, members of parliament were there. The assembly members were also there. Some MDCs also were around. And of course, uh, the targeted group, you know, the, the, so they, they use some churches to reach the targeted group because of their close link to um, links to these groups. So all these representatives were there to ensure a fair distribution of this full staff. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a glimmer of hope, um, mm -hmm. a glimmer of hope as far as um, yesterday's um, uh, event was concerned. Mm -hmm. And today we are going to see um, the sharing of these full staff. Uh, continue. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. you, you know, yesterday, um, Johnny Hughes did a very fantastic story on this young man. I, I mean, he, he actually looked at people we call the vulnerable, those who are begging on the streets, those who hawk. And one thing was clear. One gentleman said that if this lockdown should be extended a bit more, it will affect him because that's how he earns his living. He goes to hawk and he's able to feed himself. Do you get that same sense in the Shanti region? Yes. In see, the larger population of the working class as far as the Ashanti region belong to the informal sector. Yeah. Just 2018, the mm -hmm. informal sector contributed some 73 billion to the country's economy, which mm -hmm. is about 28.7 or so percent to GDP. Mm -hmm. So if the people are not working, if they are not going about their normal duties and mm -hmm. don't forget that the informal sector also employ a lot of people. Now all mm -hmm. these people at home and it's like um, they don't know what is going to happen next. Mm -hmm. So if we continue like this, um, I'm sure it will not only affect the growth of econ the economy, of course, um, people are not going to work, people are going to lose their jobs and all of that. It will mean a lot to the economy. But again, the president has said that he knows all these things will happen. But when the economy collapses, we have a strategy of mm. restoring the life of the economy. Mm. But when human beings mm. lose their lives, mm. there's no strategy to restore that. So, well, we just want to believe that mm -hmm. they are also... I mean, working towards doing things behind mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. I mean, closed doors to ensure mm -hmm. that uh, one this thing is defeated, mm -hmm. uh, we bounce back. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as 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 an economy, but for the Ashanti region, mm -hmm. it's a hard pill to swallow because right. the working class, like I said, about ninety to ninety-five percent of them, of them belong workers. to the informal sector. Right. Yes. You know, let's let's talk about the central market. We were told that it was supposed to have been open today. Is that happening? Yeah, they are, they are coming back on the 8th. Um, a roadmap has been set. On so, the what? What um, was the date? What's, when are they coming back? They are, they are supposed to come back on 8th and 9th. That was um, yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, yes. Okay. Yes. So um, the, the roadmap has been set. In fact, now they've agreed mm -hmm. to run a shift system. Okay. Because we are talking about over 5,000 traders uh, within the central market. So okay. they have agreed to run a shift system okay. that will ensure the social, that ensure that they observe the social distance and directive. Absolutely. And the Swami market too is still closed or it's been opened? Swami, Swami, Swami market is still closed. Okay. Um, uh, they haven't reached any consensus yet. But mm. once the central market um, is opened, I'm sure they are, they'll go back to the, uh, to, to, to the table and then discuss um, how the, that market will also operate to ensure the traders uh, there are back to the business field. Evans, we are grateful that you made time to speak with us uh, this morning. Evans Inkum is our Shanti Regional Correspondent, bringing us up to speed with what is happening in the Shanti region. What I picked from what he said is that there's this uh, a resident of Cote d'Ivoire who has come into the Shanti region. We are told our borders are closed. How he got into the country, we do not know. And so we are letting authorities to know that people are still entering uh, the country even though our borders are supposed to be closed. We're hoping that we get some answers to that.